Good morning, y'all. It is Wednesday, January 11th, 2023. Y'all, this date is tripping me up. I wanted to say November, and then I wanted to say 2013. What is time? I keep just wanting to go back 10 or 20 years this year. Why? Anyway, this is week seven of The Artist Way, and this week we are recovering a sense of connection. Um, so I actually truly, generally really like what I've read this week. This might be my favorite week that I've read. Um, it's talking about like, so when I write, sometimes let's just dive right into it when i write i get into the flow and like i zone in it's not not all the time sometimes it's just everything will distract me and there's no zoning in and it's just like pulling teeth to get words out and that's usually when i'm like okay after like a few hundred words 10 minutes 20 minutes of it if a flow is not coming then i'm like it's time to like step back and maybe not try to force out words, but like when I'm writing and it's going good, it's like I sometimes feel like I'm not the one that's writing it, you know? Like I often talk about my characters just having lives of their own and I am just writing down what they are telling me. Like, which is why sometimes I think plotting, plotting, plotting. Plotting and planning is sometimes difficult for me, it feels like, because I feel like I don't have control for my characters. They are just coming into me and telling me what they want to do. And like, she kind of talks about that, not in those words, she's better words, but it's just like things just coming to you, ideas just coming to you. Now I've read Creative Magic, what's that, what's that called? I don't have it back there, but you know. Um, I'll put a picture right here. I'll find, editing Ashley will find it. But I've read that in the past and it's just like talking about how ideas are just there. And I think she got it from this book where ideas are just like out there and they come to you and you can use them or not. But like ideas are just there and then they come to you and like, I don't know, there's a part of me that like, yeah, I get it because like when I'm, when I'm really in the zone of writing, nothing else matters. It's almost like I am not in control of myself. My fingers, my brain, all of it is just focused on this one thing and I just, it goes. And then I finish writing that session and I look at what I wrote and I'm like, what? What did I write? And like, you know, sometimes these characters need to be reined in and it's not good, but other times it's just like, in case you can't tell, I'm very like character driven in my writing. like that is usually the easiest thing for me to like figure out is my i can get to my characters heads um i'm just like their feelings and all that so very character driven with my stories um the other things plot don't even know her but yeah uh, oh always maybe i should script these no i'm just gonna keep like free balling it but i um yeah i just this this chapter I really 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 enjoyed and the exercises so far but it's just it was talking about like so getting in the zone connecting with the writing in that way I was talking about like perfectionism and how that's just a means to not give yourself permission to even try because why bother doing something if you can't be perfect at it like that's what perfectionism is telling you and how that's like Ego, like an ego driving you like if it's not gonna be perfect why bother and that's stupid because nothing is perfect and like comparing your first drafts to the completed edited versions the near perfect versions because nothing is perfect but the versions that get spit out into the world that we buy and consume like that has been through so many eyes so many edits so much work we're not seeing the first the first the first poop yeah, we're gonna go with it. The first poop that someone made and then made the 
treasure out of. I swear I'm a writer. Boop. But yeah, like, yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah, being a conduit to the writing, listening to, like, your inspiration, listening to these ideas that, like, start nagging at you. Just pluck those ideas and work with them. See what happens. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, how a normal part of creativity is letting go because things are never going to be perfect. Even those published books that we're comparing our writing to, there's still flaws. And that's... I love that. Like, I love it. I love the idea that nothing is perfect and like the knowledge of that I just need to like really like I know it I just need to like really know it when it comes to my own stuff um risk just taking a risk like why don't why didn't I ever try drawing earlier because I suck at it and that's okay like again it's that whole thing like if I'm not gonna be good at it why can bother which is a stupid stupid thing because the only way you can improve is by doing, and everyone is capable of improving. Like, I, I, I might, I know I'll never be, like, a good artist, but I can still improve, and I can still make drawing and sketching work for what I need it to work for, to give me, to, for it to give me what I feel like I want it to give me, I can do that. I just, and I, I need to try and not let my fear of it being really bad get in the way. It's talking about using jealousy as like um, a guidepost. If you feel jealous of this person, don't let that get in the way of you trying. It probably means you want to try this and just using jealousy to fuel you, like, but not in a bad way, like, not to like, not in spite, like, don't use it as spite though, but just like, it's a guidepost. Why are you jealous? Is this something that you feel like you should be doing and you feel like you can't do it? Well then fucking try. And just, yeah, this chapter... Yeah, I really, really enjoyed. I'm excited to do the artist date. I am for sure going to go to the library on Thursday. Um, yeah, because that will also be a twofer because one of the um, tasks is about going into a sacred split, sacred place and the library is given as an example. And yeah, that's gonna be nice. And I'm just gonna explore the library and get lost among the shelves until I have to go pick up my kiddo and maybe sit at a desk and do some writing possibly, but I'm not, I'm just gonna let myself wander and see what I, see, see what the universe tells me, what I tell myself. I don't know, but like, it is week seven. Yes. I feel like this might be one that I just reread on its own. Um, yeah. Because I think this is an important chapter for all creatives. And we'll see how I feel when I do reread it. Because right now, today, I just went over what I read in the highlight, like what I highlighted, reread that bit, and then some exercises after my morning pages. Um, Y'all. Back to this precious, precious notebook. I'm not done yet, but we got one, two, three pages left. Three pages left. And that baby is gone. Tomorrow. Tomorrow we finish. But I'm gonna wrap this up here. And yeah, oh, also hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm a ginger writes. You can call me Ashley Ash Ginger and I chronicle my writing journey. This series is as is my journey through the artist way. And you can watch all the previous videos are linked down below on the playlist. And yeah, thanks for coming along with me on this journey. I'll be back in a few days. So bye. I did it, y'all. This notebook is done. It's filled with morning pages and
and tasks, exercises, whatever we're going to call them. And yeah, I did it. Like seven-ish weeks to fill a notebook. What? That's really fucking cool. On to the next one. All right, I'm going to do some tasks and uh, I will be back in a bit. Bye. Okay, so I am at my library. It opens at 10. So it just opened like two minutes ago. And I'm going to chill here until I have to get my daughter. This is going to be my artist date. And yeah, I'm really kind of excited. I haven't like explored the library on my own without my kids uh, it, ever since I've had kids. It's been a long six, almost seven years. So it'll be fun to just wander and look at books. There's a my second book club we're doing quarterly books too this year which is cool so i have two book clubs where we each read a book quarterly for each book club and my second book club they just gave the book that we're supposed to read and i'll see if the library has it and um yeah feeling real awkward talking my car so i'm gonna shut up and get in there bye Okay, it is about 11.10. I, the DVD player in my car is loud, so I apologize for that. But I ended up getting Janelle Monet's The Memory Librarian, Zadie Smith on Beauty. This is for the book club book. And Amanda Gorman poems. Call us what we carry because I want to read some more poetry and I also want to read more short stories. So that's why I got those two. And I'm excited. And yep, it's time to get my kiddo. Alright, um, hopefully this can be salvaged. If not, I'll record another one. Bye. Good morning, y'all. It is Monday, January 16th, 2023, and we are wrapping up the seventh week of the Artist Way. And if I had to pick a favorite week, I guess so far it would be this week. I really, 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 really enjoyed the, um, the essays that were in it. I enjoyed like the overall message of it. So not enjoyed, but like it um it really like hit home. It really like I understood where it was coming from. It made a lot of sense. Um yeah, I, I <laughs> this week too I got really creative with things outside of writing too which is really cool. I um, downloaded Procreate on my tablet and I started doing some like 
drawing on it. Um, earlier, I there was an exercise for this week that was um, making a phrasing ma a mantra and like like making it really pretty with a watercolor or crayon or calligraphy and like posting it somewhere. So I just decided to do that on my iPad. So there was there's a clip of me doing that earlier. I did some other art work that I might include here. It's fun, like it's following tutorials and yeah, I, I really like digital art in that way. It um, feels a bit more forgiving. And um, we'll see where that goes. So that was cool. Like I opened myself up to that, and um, yeah. So let's uh, let's get into. Well, I guess why well, do you feel like I talked a little bit earlier about like what this week talked about, like using jealousy as a roadmap? Um, the biggest lie that jealousy tells us is that we have no choice but to be jealous. Perversely. Jealous strips us, jealousy strips us of our own will to act when action holds the key to our freedom. And it's like, it was talking about how jealousy makes us think there can only be one writer, one whatever it is that you're trying to do, so why bother if there's someone else that's already doing it, someone... So like, yeah, and really you should be using that as a guidepost. Why do you feel jealous about this? Do you want to do it? Just do it. And then that before that it was talking about how perfectionism is really the ego talking to you and preventing you from doing what you want to do because nothing is fucking perfect and you're comparing your rough drafts to like published people's final drafts and just yeah like why do we deny ourselves these this chance of trying why are we so bent on it needing to be perfect why why are we so afraid of failure and everything and yeah i don't know just this week recovering a sense of connection was a good week um yeah so let me go just answer the uh the, the check-in questions how many days th number one how many days this week did you do your morning pages have you allowed yourself to daydream a few creative risks are you coddling your artist child with childhood loves um I did morning pages every day this week. Some of the days were a bit of a struggle. Um, again, I found myself being mean, meaner to myself than I have been in past weeks. Um, so I was trying. I, I, did, I did try to. I did. I was able to pull myself out of that meanness to myself a little bit easier this week than I did last week, which was good. Um, uh, have I taken any creative risks? I mean, I guess playing with Procreate, sharing what I've done with Procreate, um, stepping out of my comfort zone with that is really, it might be considered a creative risk. Um, I feel like I should probably maybe try to take some more creative risks with my writing, but you know, baby steps. And um, yeah, I just, I want this, my favorite thing from all of this has been the morning pages and I know that's going to be something that I continue after the process. I really enjoy be that being the first thing that I do is just letting all that out onto the page. Um, and you know, and then there's the part of me that's like really thrilled by how many journals and notebooks I might fill if I do this consistently. And that's cool. Um, so yeah, I think I might finally have a legitimate journaling habit. And I'm happy with that. We'll see what happens to be trashy when I'm done doing this. But hopefully I stick to it. Did do you do your artist date this week? Did you use it to take any risks? What did you do? How did it feel? I went to the library and it felt amazing to explore among the, the stacks. I mean, really the only risk from the library was checking out so many books that I might not actually have time to read. Um, and getting like losing track of time, but I had the timer set on my watch, so I wouldn't because I had time limit. But it was great. Just I forgot how much I enjoy being at the library by myself. 
um, sitting at a table and working on stuff, reading the books that I just picked out. Um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed it and I will definitely make it a habit to do little library dates with myself some more often. Um, yeah, that felt really, really good. It wasn't really a risk. Um, squarely in my comfort zone but it was still like nice to just do it because it's something that I haven't allowed myself to do in quite a while so 10 10 this week with the art estate did you experience any synchronicity this week what was it well um not really unless okay so Friday I had a party that I went to I wasn't really feeling it for a little bit because I wasn't too sure like I knew everyone who would be there but they're more like my husband's friends than my friends none of their like partners were coming that I'm a little closer to but I went and it was a lot of fun apparently they all missed me because I usually if there's a there's an activity going on I usually stay with the kids it's my husband hanging out with them because like he games with them more consistently than I do um but, like my brother was there uh and it was just it was a lot of fun and <sighs> y'all D, D got brought up and there is a small chance that we might i might get a local game going on and i'm really really happy with that so maybe because i do feel like D, &D helps my creativity it is and it is a path that my creativity takes and does so um I'm gonna count it. Um, I'm going to say that I I did experience some, and I'm going to hopefully actually get the game going. I just I, I think I just need to like poke everybody on Discord and be like, "Yo, is this thing gonna actually happen?" Lots well, of D and D. Cause I I've really only really played with my one group. I mean, I've branched out a little bit and played like on streams with some people from that group and other people but I haven't really played with like fresh people who are not part of the group that I always play with so it might be fun well it will be fun and it'll be a new challenge and um anytime you do anything collaboratively and creatively with new people that's good but you know I'm gonna count it I'm gonna count it it will help me grow my creativity and uh hopefully future Ashley will actually get a game going that is local or with local people because I feel we'll probably still default to Discord because given that we're all adults and most of us are parents, it'll probably just be easier to stay if we all stay at home and do it. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, were there any other issues this week that you consider significant to your recovery? Describe them. No, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't say that there was any that I can really recall. I feel like I was more open this week than I have been in a few other weeks. So I, yeah, no. I think this was a good week. I don't think I was holding myself back necessarily and I don't think I was letting things from the chapter block me. So good week all around. Um, next week, tomorrow, we start week eight which is recovering a sense of a sense of strength so i'll be back y'all happy writing and in the comments below let me know if you've done the artist way like always or what you think about jealousy and ideas coming to you and just anything that i talked about if any of it made sense or you get comment below i would love to hear your thoughts bye